There's what you're looking for, balance of debt. There. Okay. <laughs> that 110 you're wrong, is a bit misleading way. to you. You're wrong. I don't give a toss about what your figures are. Your is worth less than something I might trod on. No! What's the matter with you? How many of you are there? Well, well, what's it got to do with you? Hello? I don't know if it was on last time. I am the county called Bailey. Bailey. No authority. But that's... Hello? Hello? As far as... Oh. Money is concerned, we never get told those details, and it's not necessarily a requirement to put in the warrant. And that's just to say there that the judgment was made and you should have given up the land on the 13th of October last year. I don't know. We just think the void, the, the, the order is void. They're bailiffs. They don't know who they are. They're bailiffs. They won't, they won't identify themselves. They won't show me. They're bailiffs. They won't show me the paperwork. They won't show me the paperwork. I need the police here immediately. They're threatening me. They're using intimidation language. We need the police here immediately. He's going for an Oscar, this one. He's doing this for fun. At the moment, there's just three of them, but they're being very, very threatening and very intimidating. Very threatening. Very threatening. Yeah, three males. Very threatening. Can't get a woman. Woman as well. Can't get a woman. Uh, I'm 5'7, you are what, 6'2? What's it got to do with you? I'm really just like making an observation. Is that not allowed now? Is this some legal reason? You're not allowed to do anything. You put them in front of you, sir. There's no puffy magic dragon, mate. I think you're good friends with him. Go on. So where's the. Uh, They're well, pushing well, me round, all on camera, he's screaming in my face, he refused oh, yeah. to show me any well, paperwork, and continuing to insult me within a certain manner. And I, I, I need the police here because they're breaching the peace and I need them here immediately to protect us. Absolutely. They're trespassing on the land and they won't leave the land. They're trespassing. Get off the land. Yes. It is absolutely 100% correct, sir. I've seen that one woman's car and I've spoken to her self and I can assure you she's not. Thanks for your assistance, I really do appreciate it. Okay, goodbye. Bye. I want to see the EX96. If you want to show me the EX96, you're in breach. No, listen to me a minute. No. An EX96 is a notice of appointment. It needs to be signed. Tune the payment. No, it's got to be signed. Don't you tell me what it is. I will tell you what it is, because I know what it is. Because I see the first 50 of them out every week. He's trying to wind you up. I'm fucking knocking him up. That's what he wants to do. Go on, mate. Go on, try it. Go on, try it. That's what he's trying to do. See how far you go? He's trying to do it. That's all he's trying to do. He's just threatened to knock me up. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, he's talking to me. No, he's talking to me. No, he's talking to me. Sorry. He's everyone. He's talking to me. He was talking to me. No, he wasn't. He's just been witnessed by everyone here. He's talking to me. I know him very well. 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 I know him very well
What? What's what? a new one? Is that the best spiel I can put on Is that the best spiel you've got, is it? Spin. Yeah. yeah. Where's your paperwork? Oh. Where's your paperwork, Paul? Don't tell him that. Can you get off the land, please? Can you get off the land, please? Can you get off the land, please? You're trespassing. That's all he's doing. You're trespassing. Get off the land. You've got no authority to be here. You've got no authority to be here. Can you get off the land, please? No, you're not going to get off the land. Yeah. Oh, Paul Higgs. Council Court Bailiff. Okay. Council Court Bailiff. There you go, mate. That's, that's you been served. You've been served. Have a look at that. Have a look at it. That's what you do. Have a look at it. It's a magistrate court information. It's going to be laid in front of the magistrate. You've got to have a look at it. Have a look at it. What are you doing? What's this guy doing? This guy? Who's this guy? Now, Who's this guy got to do? I'm going to go... You need to read that. That's a very important document. Honestly. You need I, to I'm sorry, that. I don't read English. You need to read that document. You've been named in the Magistrate Court. All you've got to do is... Like, I'm going to go and ask all the guys. Tell me, Take him off the land, please. Could someone take him off the land, please? He's trespassing. He's got no right to be. He's a locksmith. Paul. I think all of you, if you come the other side of the fence, it'll just calm things down. Oh, right. 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 You so need to be that document. Because all he's doing is just acting yeah, like donut. Yeah. No, okay, can't help it. Oh, no. Well, I'll, I'll say to the police. These people from up that country, they don't leave the land. Leave the land. Leave the land. Leave the land. Thank you very much. Leave the land. 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 Read that document. Who's fishing at all? I've seen more truth in the Sun newspaper. Be the devil, be the devil. Go away. Go away. Are you refusing a court order? Do you enjoy doing this job? Do you enjoy? Which I suspect is more than you are. Okay, don't beat that. You've got a qualification in law. Can't help it. Right? Well, read it out. Read it out. Mr. Paul Higgs, County Court Bailiff. Alleged offence. Unlawful eviction. Contrary to Section 1 of the Protection from Eviction Act. 1977. On Thursday, 31st of May, the accused authorised the execution of an unlawful eviction against Rupert Baird and misleading Hertfordshire police to unuse reasonable force to enter into the home of the Baird family against the wishes of the occupants. This was in clear breach of Section 1 of the Protection from Eviction Act 1977 and is an indictable offence carrying two years imprisonment. Fisher and Lightwood. Are clear on the execution of evictions. Fisher and Lightwood, Lord of Mortgages, 13th edition. All these neighbours taking, here, what's peace, going on? taking no, peaceful no, possession. No. Section 29.9. If no. physical possession no. is to be taken, no. it must be taken peaceably. If violence is to be used to secure entry, the mortgagee may be liable for prosecution no, under the, the criminal law. Although the mortgagee has been law. this gentleman misguided Although the mortgage law will have no civil remedy yeah, against the yeah. mortgagee, yeah. violence yeah. need not only be against the person, but may also be in a manner of entry. By breaking open the doors of a house. Consequently, yeah. save where the mortgage or consent to the mortgagee yeah. taking actual possession, which will be rare. The occasions where physical taking of possession is possible will be rare. It generally only be possible where the mortgage or has abandoned the premises. We have not abandoned these premises, Paul. Yeah, you're on notice. Well, I suppose if you've got a dinner for yourself today, that person, or more than one occasion, well, 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 You don't know anything. Oh, you're going after you, mate. Eh? Come on. I'm going after you. Good. Oh, don't you worry. Good, mate. Why are you going? You're going to be in court soon, Paul Lockner. Perch your head. Perch your head. EX96 must be... Excuse me, do you mind? I'm speaking to the... <laughs> mind the your own officer business. is checking the legality of the paperwork. Mind your own she business. She does not need right. your... I'm speaking to the constable, Listen. not you. Stop. We will sort it out in a minute.
how you doing? Hello. 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 The bailiff has any authority here today. And the resistance is fully put to this eviction. Um, we refused, first of all, to show us any documentation related to what. Secondly, we burst through here, threatened with violence, screamed in the face, and this is all witnessed by these people and on this camera, spoke to me in a completely threatening manner and didn't provide me with any authority but to do so. I've also tried to notice Mr. Higgs of this document, which is a magistrate's court document, which he's ripped out of my hand. And you need to read this in relation to this eviction today. We're not allowed to use any force or violence, and that would be laid at magistrate's court tomorrow for a summons against anybody here who authorises or who issues violence for this eviction. It's simply not allowed. In addition, there's a document called the EX-96 that the bailiff is refusing to show me. That document must be signed by the claimant. If it's not, this eviction must be cancelled. So that document needs to be inspected before anything happens. By who? By yourself, because he won't show me. Okay. Um, and we need to have a confirm that that document is correctly executed, otherwise there is no uh, lawful authority What's here. Yeah, I'm, I'm the beneficiary of the estate. Okay. Uh, we resist them peacefully. Um, no violence can be used here today. For what reason are you resisting? Because the, this matter is still in the courts. So doing this is doing it in bad faith. And absolutely, if they want to go and get another warrant, a warrant to remove us using uh, a contempt of court warrant or an arrest warrant, then we're happy to come along. But with a warrant for eviction, if it's resisted peacefully, they cannot use force at all. They have to go back to the court and get another warrant. And any 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 authorization of force or violence that used today, we will be taking a private prosecution against anybody who commits it. We're very peaceful people, and we just want this to be dealt with in the courts before um, this kind of violence is committed against us and we hope that you protect us here today. I have also have for your inspection. Who's the bird? Are you? Uh, no, the bird family is the legal occupier and the beneficiary of the estate. Um, okay, so what we've got here as well for you to inspect is the Criminal Law Act 1977. Part six, section six, violence was secured against you. It's very clear. Okay. I'm not Mr. Byrne. What's on the door? That's the same document. Is it this? Yeah. Who put that on? Myself. I'm not sure you've got the Criminal Law Act. One second before you go any further. Criminal Law Act. Oh, sure. Okay, also you've got the Protection from Eviction Act, which is Section 1. You may need to speak to a sergeant or an inspector, okay? Um, because we're resisting this eviction, it's not lawful, and any violence you will be followed up in court. Thanks very much for your cooperation. You've been told Bird. you have identified yourself to me on more than one occasion. I've never met you, sir. Person, sir, I've never met you. Okay, this is a first. Court officer, a lawyer. I mean, uh, sir, I've met him at court. I've met him at this address. He's, he's never slightly. constable two three four seven. I've never met this gentleman before. This is the first time I've been on this property. It's the first time I've been in this Super area support. of the country. I'm here to witness this unlawful eviction. I haven't seen the documents. I mean, they're not serving. If they're not serving, then they're not serving for a reason. And, 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 I, and, I, and I'm pretty sure you're all in the police force to do the right thing. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm pretty sure it's not just a job. Yeah. I'm sure it's vocational. You're doing the right thing. Yeah. You swore an oath to protect us, the people. Not to protect them, to protect us. I'm sure you all went in the police force for the right reason. I can tell. I can just tell. You look like good people. We're law abiding people. It's got to be cancelled. It says on the document itself, it says on the EX 96, if it's not completed properly, the eviction must be cancelled. That's a court document. We just like to see that document. And they're not showing you, it's a very important document. Oh, provided that, 
Off and third, must be ripped off and signed, constable. Very important document. They refuse to show us it. I mean, I don't know why they refuse to show us it if they're so confident that the law's on their side. Very simple request. Yeah, it's nice. This isn't there. Everybody's super new. Yeah, it's ultra-beard as that then. It's, you're not going to go to your father. Team C. Can I just quickly have a look at that constable, the top document? Yeah, so are you saying when you see that document, you're happy for it to go ahead? No. So what are you saying then? So I want to see the document first, and right. then, and then once I've seen the document, if it complies, then we'll peacefully resist this eviction because you're not allowed to use force on a civil matter. Simply not allowed to use force. If they want to go and get a different warrant, then by all means we will stand aside. But the warrant they currently hold does not give you the lawful authority to use any force at all. And any force that is used, any force that is used, will be followed up by us in the court against anybody that authorises it by the private prosecution, which is going after the man, not the insurance policy that protects you. Yeah, it's 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 violence that's being threatened here. We're law-abiding people. You need to get the correct paperwork. I don't know why you're smiling. This is a very serious matter. People are losing their homes. Why are you smiling? It's not a joke. It's not, it's not something no, to joke about. Joke. No, it's not something to joke about, mate. This is a serious matter. People are losing their homes. And you're executing it. I'm glad you acknowledge that. Oh, I acknowledge yeah. it. Very serious matter. It's a very serious matter. You had the opportunity. You're coming in laughing at us and throwing, throwing your weight around and, and, and threatening violence. Look, you're laughing again. What's funny? What, what's funny? What's funny? Maybe 30 years ago, mate. What's funny? What are you laughing at? I'm laughing at you. Why? Because I think you're a bit sad, mate. I'm a bit sad. Why is that? You're the one executing an eviction. You're the bailiff, not me. You're the bailiff. You're the sad one. It's the job you've taken. That's the ch choices you've made in life, being a bailiff. It shows your contempt for law, doesn't it? No, you're contemptible, my friends. You're contemptible. I'm standing on the law. You're abusing it. Why didn't you... Come on, what have you got to say for yourself? I'm not talking to you. You're going to be all over YouTube. All over YouTube. See what you do for a living. Come on. You just involved with me. I don't hide the fact. So have you got no conscience to your fellow man? Absolutely I have. Oh, really? Yes. So you didn't bother, what, bother you what you do? Protecting the banks. Unlawful eviction. You've got no... You've got no... You're taking, you're taking orders. You're taking orders. You've got no compassion for your fellow man. This is Vietnam. I'm not carrying yeah. napalm. Well, you're carrying uh, violence. You're threatening violence. It doesn't matter what the scale is. Violence is violence. We're peaceful people. You've got no lawful authority to threaten violence. It's a civil matter. It's not criminal. What's your name, by the way? Sorry? What's, What's it got to do with you? Well, you asked me for my name. Well, I'm not giving you my name. It's nothing to do with you. Well, no, I've got no relationship with you. Well, no, I've got no relationship with you. I'll give it to the police if they ask me. I'm not going to give it to you. Well, I think they might do it. Well, if they, if they want to, I'll happily give them it. I've done nothing wrong. Only one here threatening wrongdoing is you. Yeah, I, I know. I keep saying it. Have you got have you got a mortgage? Yeah. Um you wanna find out what we're we're all about because your signature on you know, when you had your mortgage, it was your signature that created the money to pay for the mortgage. It was you that created the funds for your mortgage. Now, something that sounds mad, doesn't it? But that's what we found out over the last two years, which is why we know it's all void. So this is what we're taking through the course. And we're in appeal processes all over the country, bringing this argument in front of the judiciary. But as you can imagine, it's a difficult argument to present because it's not a decision they want to make straight away. But this is part of what's happening in this country at the moment. You're all affected because you've all got mortgages. 
the, you, know, the, so the, you should research it. Just I don't even mean as a I don't even mean as a constable. I mean as just a man what, and a woman when you take your when you take your uniform off, go home and research go this. Go home and research it. It's fascinating what's going on, and it's really you know we're trying to bring a halt to the banking practices in this country that are destroying the country. Everyone's a part of it, including you, Paul. Including you, mate. I mean, you're probably all right. You not when you're not doing this job. Me? You should check out your own mortgage. Yeah, fortunes, mate. I'm, I'm sure you do. I've got three places in Spain. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Fortunes. Sure you do. But I'm I'll not paying my mortgages on all of them. Why are you being so antagonistic? I'm being. I'm talking to you straight. I'm talking to you straight. Yeah, I'm but to you straight. Why are you being antagonistic? You didn't talk to you straight earlier on, though. Did well, you? I'm talking to you straight now. It's only your job. I know it is, that's why I'm talking to you straight. What I'm saying to you is, is you should also become aware of what we're trying to fight against. We're fighting against the banks. That's what we're up against. And we're all, everyone here, that's our common so enemy. why are you taking out with the banks then? Well, we are. We're in the right. court. We need your assistance. We need... Yeah, but we, ne we need your job. assistance. And we're doing our job and we're trying to fight the banks for everyone here as well, because you'll all be affected by it. We need it's all of your assistance, every single one, one of you. You know, the, the reason we're in a major recession is not down to us. It's that the banks screwing us, and we're trying to make a stand against them. Well, but the issue is that we've got, is it's also quite clear, is we believe that we're going to come in 2024 and find the court immediately or available manager. You don't, you're not listening. There, there, there is no loan. You create it. They don't. Your signature creates the money. Well, sorry, I've, I've got a sergeant uh, at 10 years old as well. He's also had um, a few years with the supplier on it. So there's no paperwork here. You call a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we we know they don't understand it. <laughs> You guys are going to be legendary if this eviction gets cancelled. You'll be legendary, you'll be heroes. Can you imagine if everybody took this view? Can I just reiterate back, going back to what I mentioned right at the start? Yeah. And that is, this is a civil issue. It's a criminal issue. It's a criminal issue. It's a criminal issue. Okay. Right. So what? Well, I'm going to ask you to surrender the keys to the premises. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. Then I'm going to ask you to step aside so that I can approach the door. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. Sergeant, this is a trespass. Sergeant, Sergeant trespass. trespass. We'd like to report trespass now. Uh, we are. Sergeant, this, is this, is this is trespass. Are you refusing entry to this trespass? Yes. This is trespass. We have not been served with these documents. This is trespass. This is very peaceful. They have not provided... You're, you're refusing to allow anyone to get into the property? Yes. And they're refusing verbal resistance. So the advisor will walk away. Thank you. Yes! yes. yes. Well done, constables. Your heroes. Congratulations, constables. Right. Paul. So, come round the side. Sergeant, he's trespassing. Trespass. I'm not Sergeant, he's trespassing. Sergeant. I want to have a look at what it says on the door. Sergeant, same one. Sergeant, he's trespassing on the property. Sergeant, he's trespassing on the property. You need to leave. You need to leave. You're breaking the law. This is criminal. Guys, it's refusing to request a name. By a, by a sergeant. Guys, we need to leave. Thank you, constables. Thank you very much, constables. Absolutely, you're going to be heroes online. Absolute heroes. Well done. Absolutely amazing work. You've just made history in this country. You've just made history in this country. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.
I've got the right to possession of that property. Right, I'll just have a conversation with you, the same conversation I have with the no problem. okay? And that is explaining to you our role yep. as police. This is essentially a civil matter, Absolutely. it's not a criminal matter. Yep. Um, we are, our purpose here is to prevent a breach of peace. Absolutely. Okay, to prevent any uh, disturbance, albeit from bailiffs or yourselves. We're not here to take party, yep. we're not here to pass opinion, yep. we're not here to say that bailiffs are right or you're right, they're wrong or you're wrong. Yes, okay, so I've, I've given advice to the ladies, um, and my only advice to you would be, obviously, to seek legal advice yep. in the matter, okay. and to take the appropriate route with regards to the advice that you get. Okay. Okay? Your work today has been outstanding, right? You've done exactly what we employ you to do, and I can't congratulate you enough on doing the right thing today, and you're going to go down in history.